In this Blender 2.8 tutorial I will show you how to roto mask parts of a video clip. I've assumed you have some knowledge of working in the movie clip editor and also the video editor. I've left some links in the description below which go into more detail. If you don't, other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK. Well, I've brought this very simple um, video into Blender of a bog. <laughs> and the reason I've done it is just it's going to be a lot quicker to mask this than a more complicated shape. So I'm going to just chop the top of this uh, Victorian toilet out. So the easiest way to do this, first of all, is if you just hit tab on your keyboard and this will take you into the mask section you can also change it up here between tracking and mask now if you just hold down your control button and then right click around the object that you want to mask you can start creating your mask now with Blender you don't need to close up your mask so from that point here on the right to this point here on the left it will automatically create a line. Now if you want to adjust your positions if, like you say here is a little bit over if you right click on one of the points and then press G for grab you can move your pointer about or your points around I said right click and then grab or G for grab so that's not looking too bad I'm not going to be too fussy how we do this now you have a few options the first thing you'll need to do is just make sure you select this little button here automatic keyframe insertion now you can go through this video and start moving these about and it will remember what um, position you set it in but what I would do is if you just press tab again on your keyboard and I'll go through this long way around add a marker to track from so I'm going to just place one here. Again, I assume you know a little bit about this. So I've got this. I'm going to track this point here. And that's gone all the way through. So I'll go back to the beginning. Press Tab. Select this point here. And then press Control P to lock it. And now if I play forward this will move with this track. So I'm going to press tab again and find another point to track. So I'll add a track say here and again track forward and that one seems to have worked. Back to the beginning press tab and select this point here. Control P and that seems to be working OK. And again, tab, find another point. So let's track this here, see if this will work. And again, all the way to the end. Tab, select that point, control P. And see if it's working okay. That's not looking too bad. So one more. Press tab and find another point to track. So I don't know. Let's try this corner here. And that didn't work. That got me to number 70, missing one frame. So I'm going to just press G and just move it slightly and 
track forward again. That worked. Always, if you don't, you can change the tracks as you go along, or these, these tracking points, but sometimes if you just move them for slightly, they will lock. OK, so tab again, right click on my last marker, Control P to lock it in place. And that's working pretty good. Now, at any point, if you want to change, I'm not going to change this, but if this was moving out, say, slightly here, you could press G and move it. And because you've got this selected, it will remember that point. Although you've locked it to this tracking marker, it will also remember. So if I press G for grab and moved it out here, say halfway through it would start and move out to here and then let's say back again but I'm not going to do that you can muck around with this you can do what you want but this needs to be selected here for this to work okay so the next thing we need to do is at the top of the screen look for the plus sign next to scripting left click on this and then next to video editor go into video editing drag your video your original video into the timeline track and what you need to do then is go into add or control uh, shift a and select the adjustment layer. Drag your adjustment layer so that it matches up to the video. This one's 71, so that one's now saying 71. And then to the right of the screen, left click on modifiers, then left click on add strip modifier and mask, select mask and then left click in the mask box and select mask. Now you won't see this because I've just placed the mask over the video but just to show that it's worked I'll go into the strip and left click multiply and now you've got a mask. And that's all there is to it really. I won't go into, I mean you could change this to a colour toilet seat over a black and white background but I won't go into that this was just a very simple tutorial on how to mask in Blender again I won't go into rendering or anything it's something I assume you know a little bit about so that's all there is to it really hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers